Hi there, it's Pip from No More Robots and this is Let's Build a Zoo. Hopefully you've already seen our shiny new trailer for it, but I figured we'd also sneak in a little bit of gameplay to show you what Let's Build a Zoo is all about and I cannot wait to dive in. Shall we start with this giant zoo you will have seen in the trailer? Alright, so it's a busy day today and I'm going to pan around and show you as much of the zoo as I can. But this is our big giant zoo that shows off each of the enclosure types that we currently have. So let's start off with our grasslands area. Every good zoo starts with a tiny grassland bunny enclosure and this one is definitely my favourite. It's good to see that lots of the guests are enjoying it too. Although I know lots of them will want to go a bit further afield to look at some of our more exotic animals. Alright, so we've got our little cafe bar in this corner. And we've got some badges over in this corner. This area is, is super busy. Um, and some ponies over here. And maybe maybe we'll overlook the, the strange orang family <laughs> living in their grasslands enclosure over there. All right, so if we whip across here, we've got our second themed area. And I fell in love with all of these items, with all the bamboo shoots. Uh, and the water fountains and the lily pads. I, I adore this area so, so much. And I'm pretty sure the bears and the boars like it too. Um, we have hundreds and hundreds of items to choose from that allow you to decorate your zoo any way that you like. So I'm excited to see what you all build. So we'll skip over the mountain area for now because I haven't finished that yet. Uh, and we'll head straight on over to the savannah area. Now the savannah enclosures are my favourite. This place houses some of my favourite animals and hopefully you'll be able to see that not every animal is the same. Within each species there are a ton of coat colours and coat types, meaning that there are hundreds of animals for you to breed and look after. And that's not even getting started on the DNA splicing which is definitely an adventure in its own right. So what else can you do in your zoo? Well, aside from the normal shops and visitor attractions, you also will have seen in the trailer some slightly shadier buildings. Now, if you're not looking to make a little utopia for your zoo animals, we've got you covered. But I won't spoil too much of that yet. Just, just look at it. Ugh. So, we should probably start building our own zoo, right? That's, that's what the game's all about. So let me show you building our very first enclosure. And that's right, it's going to be our tiny grassland bunny enclosure. So let's pick up our first task. All the tasks come from the office up here. And we need to... Ah! Our first one is to build a nice animal pen. Gotcha. So we'll just pick our build tool up here and grab our grassland enclosure. You can see we've got all our different types. Each different type suits a different animal. So you'll need to make sure that you're matching up which animal needs what. Alright, so we have our enclosure and we can start picking up some animals. Now luckily for us, Australia is having a bit of a rabbit problem. So if we head over to our world map, this is where we're going to pull all our animals from. And for now, Sydney Zoo has us covered with two new baby bunnies. So let's grab those. Hey, you've received a pair of rabbits. And let's pop them in our enclosure. Nice. So while we wait for those to arrive, let's start sprucing up the place ready for some guests. Let's pop some pathway down so that people can see all the way around. I really love this grey pathway. Oh, they're here already? Oh my goodness, that was fast. So the helicopter coming in is definitely one of my favourite visual elements so far. Just looking to drop that little crate. Too cute. So hopefully once this crate opens, ah, two baby bunnies, look at them. All right, let me fix up the section of floor, otherwise it'll drive me crazy. Uh, and let's have a look at our new arrivals, look at them. All right, so we have little Comet, and you are a Hardy, there you go. So each animal has got their own little info section, including this bit about their kind of enclosure and how much space they need, so each animal has different requirements and you can add things into their pen to help look after them slightly better. Alright, so let's have a look at our tasks. We can finish off this task now our little rabbits have arrived. I'm so glad they're here. And we haven't got any more quests so we might as well start the day and let some people in. Now, one of the things that we need to do it turns out uh, is build a shop. So let me finish building this little area up here. 
And then maybe we can make a little rest area for guests, maybe in this little section here. Uh, and then we need to pop a shop in. So here are all the different buildings um, and different decorations that you can pop in, but we're looking for a shop. Oh, the gift shop would probably fit. Yeah, look at that, perfect. All right, we'll hire a little shopkeeper to pop in here. And then, yeah, let's let's make a little rest area. Now, what do we, we have so many of the items and so many different bits of, oh, I missed a bit. So many bits of pathway, so many different colors and designs. Honestly, I cannot wait. I know I keep saying it, but I cannot wait to see what everybody builds and how everybody zoos look at the end. So one of the things that I always like to put is a zoo map so that people know where they are and what they can find. And then we'll put my favorite in, the lamppost. Look at all these lights. It is definitely worth building an architect's office and getting all of these bits and pieces researched. Because, I mean, look, can you, can you see the little snake bench down at the bottom there? Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Anyway, we don't have access to that right now. So let's pop down some little wooden benches for these folks. Um, I think four, I think four is probably a good number. And it feels like we're missing something. What can we use to make it a little bit prettier? Ah, there you go, some flowers. All right, where can these go? Maybe, yeah, down the bottom. That sounds good. Let's pop these down. And we've got people with little love hearts over their heads already. This looks like a really great start to a zoo. We've got everything you would ever need. We have a map to show you where our one little enclosure is. We've got our two cute little bunnies. We've got our gift shop on the way out. What more could you want? All right, to show you what this actually could build into, let's head back to our big zoo. Let's go on a bit of an adventure. Okay, so I figured I'd show you this one slightly differently this time. Uh, and let's take our little zookeeper for a walk. So at any point when you feel like walking through your zoo, like you're visiting it for the first time, you can grab your zookeeper and just take them for a little wander. This way you can see what all of your enclosures look like to your guests. You can check that everything's running nice and smoothly. This deer enclosure looks great. This red panda exhibit looks better. Look at those cute faces. And this will give you a more hands-on approach to checking your zoo and it's running from day to day. So if you know you've got a trash problem, if you've got a congestion problem, if people aren't buying enough balloons or soft drinks, you can head down to the ground and work out why. Aw, look at these bouncy babies. With hundreds of items to decorate your park, hundreds of thousands of animals to play with and spice together, an inbuilt morality system and fully customizable shops and visitor experiences. Let's Build a Zoo really does invite you to build the zoo of your dreams. Whether you're looking to make a dinky county park zoo or a large sprawling handbag based empire, we've got you covered. You can trade animals with popular zoos all around the world or splice your own nightmarish companions, whichever you'd rather and build your zoo empire to be something that you really can be proud of. Or, you know, not. <laughs> Let's Build a Zoo is coming this summer to PC. You can wish this us right now. I've left the links down in the description below. And for regular updates, you can come join us on our Discord, discord.gg forward slash Let's Build a Zoo. I'm so excited to hear all about your plans and your favourite animals that you cannot wait to put into your zoo. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been Let's Build a Zoo and I cannot wait to share more gameplay with you soon. Bye!